Grant Stanley. I've uh, been reviewing this bag all night. When I started, uh, there was no snow. Uh, now there's a lot of snow. Um, this is the Rab Alpine uh, Bivy. It's got event on the top, uh, and then um, just a waterproof floor. It is designed for really niche alpine uh, climbing and touring. I don't think it's for everyone. It's pretty narrow. Uh, I don't have much um, room in here, but it did exactly what it's supposed to do. There's not a lot of condensation inside the bag. Uh, the venting system is really interesting. It's got a zipper and Velcro. And you think that you'd actually like have to like stick the Velcro. Really all you have to do is zip it all the way up and then unzip it. And those Velcro sticks um, and creates just the perfect venting. Because you don't want to sleep with this all the way zipped up uh, because people have asphyxiated before. Um, it is breathable for water to get out but not for air to necessarily get in. Um, yeah, I'd highly recommend this piece. I wish they made it a little wider, uh, and I wish they made it with a Cuban fiber floor, uh, because I did have to put my sleeping pad on the outside in order to get enough room. I'm, uh, 240 pounds, uh, so it's a little, little snug in here. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, the Rab Alpine Bivy. And then, I actually have it, uh, uh, combined with the a the Rab Alpine pants, the down pants, uh, and I use the down pants because I also use a PhD half bag, and what I find with the half bag is it, it does create like a little bit of a uh, of a draft, and the down pants uh, minimize the impact of the draft. Uh, now I can just get up and uh, wander around camp, and I'm not much colder than I was uh, sleeping.